Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial on three different ways to import data into Excel. Um, so pretend you're on the uh, uh, Yahoo Finance here and you see this awesome table with the historical prices for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Um, if I just go through and I, you know, control copy it, and then I try to bring it into Excel, if I just paste it, you've all seen this happen before, it just becomes an entire row of of uh, you know one single cell, it all goes in one single cell. So that's not the way we want to do it. So I'm going to try to show you two different ways. Um, the first being converting it into a text file. So I also I have this copied, and if I go into um, just Notepad, and you can go get that through Accessories, um, and I just paste it in here. You'll see it, it pastes as a table almost. Um, and how this works is this space right here is actually a tab like you were typing and you press tab um, that's how if you copy a table it puts tabs in there right so I'm going to um, save this as um, a text file right so um, make sure you put that it's a text file at the end um, it's pretty much your only option so now I'll go into Excel and I go to data, get external data from text and I do text. So import this and now it's going to go through the text import wizard again so delimited we want to make sure that's right English uh, United States and right now it when you're using a text file like I said it was tabs that separate them so this is you know how ugly it looks without all the tabs in there but if you were to just click tab it uh, takes it all and um, separates it for you. And then finish and put it there. So now it's, uh, it's perfect. Um, it's already been converted for you. So the third way um, is using what's called a CSV, which is a um, comma separated value um, file. And this link on Yahoo Finance does it actually for you. Um, so I'm just going to save it as a CSV file, go into Excel, and go to Text, um, DSJ Historical Examples, Import, and then Delimited. And instead of pressing Tab this time, I press Comma. And you can see um, in a CSV, it's comma separated. So rather than being um, uh, tabs that separate them, it's commas. Um, so I press comma and I see it does the same thing. So finish. And we want to put this in a new worksheet. So now if you go through, this is pretty much how they all look. Um, this is the one that's incorrect. That's where we just pasted it in. Here's where it's a text file, and here's where it's a CSV file. So uh, that should kind of sum things up for you on how to import text into Excel.